Look at that logo, it's like brand new. Okay, this is a huge Toys R Us. Look at the size of this place. Starscream. Nope. I'm here <laughs> in Mississauga. This is a completely different city than I'm living in and I don't know, I was just here on a whim, uh, visiting some friends and I thought why not check out what kind of toy hunting I can find here. A couple of Walmarts, a couple of Toys R Us's and a few winners, so let's find out what they got out here. So this is a pretty big Walmart. <laughs> Hey, don't mess around here in Mississauga, that's for sure. Yeah, don't even know where I'm going. Oh, there it is. The only in the back there. So this is literally a gigantic toy section. <laughs> Look at that. Those are all the aisles. They go straight down. This is... That's pretty crazy. Back here in the... Uh, more like the preschool area. I found something kind of funny. Check this out. <laughs> I don't even know how old this thing is. This is a Star Wars Chewy. I don't think I've ever seen one of these things. It's damn cute though. If anybody knows anything about this, somebody should tell me. Yeah, it looks like it's... I don't ever remember seeing anything like this before. I'm actually starting to wonder if it works. <laughs> Holy crap, it still works. Let's see that again. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how much that thing is. It's actually really cute. Check out this entire two aisles of Lego. Just nuts. That's a lot of Lego. Something a little bit interesting, at least for me. They have a Funko section here. At least that's what it says, because there's no Funko here. <laughs> I don't know, something funny is going on. I'm just being mean. Funko's really doing well. I don't think they have any signs of stopping. I still just don't understand them. Oh, check this out. Good to see a lot of new Godzillas on the market. This is 2016 Godzilla. And here's Kong with battle damage. These sculpts are pretty good. Oh, here's Space Godzilla. He looks alright. And Kong from Skull Island, the movie. Yeah, he looks pretty good too. Oh, here's some bigger ones. Oh, check out this skull. Island Kong hand. He's really detailed. Very cool. 30 bucks. And here's 2004's Godzilla. Facing off against some <laughs> generic dragon, I guess. Very cool. Yeah, good to see Godzilla back in the world. Competing right up against Jurassic Park. Looks like more clearance items on this side. $7 Pixar characters. Yeah, talk aisle, cars. And here's the WWE stuff. Ah. Yeah, I always see the WWE, but there's almost no sign of any Motu. There are two pegs here for Motu, and the only things on them are Power Rangers. Hey, and uh, not very intact Power Rangers either. That's that's not good. Yeah, but you always got to look around, right? You never know what you're gonna find. Anything... I don't think I'll find anything <laughs> too glaring out here, though. Uh, oh wait, hold on. What's this? Okay, check it out. I was able to find 
New Day, The New Day, which is the Masters of the WWE Universe, which is, um, apparently they reside in the Masters of the Universe, uh, well, kind of, anyway, They're like a crossover kind of thing, and this one is sort of like a Manny Faces inspired WWE character, so, yeah, he's cool. Well, at least we found something. Love that character artwork, it looks so, so amazing. Yep, it's got that twist feature, very similar to Manny Faces. And there are the other characters in the line. Yep, there's The Rock. I guess that's The Undertaker. Not too sure who that guy is on the, on the right. And this guy, The New Day. Hmm. Well, at least we found something. Checking all the pegs. Yeah, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna move on. Uh, just all the WWE rings for Grayskull. Yeah, unfortunately that's about all she wrote. A couple more of those 90s Spider-Man figures, which is really cool. Oh look, they have Azrael. Wow, that's a cool find. Holy cow, he looks good. The multiverse, Azrael. Wow, that is a cool figure. Holy cow. Not collecting it though. Here we are in the Transformers aisle. Man, things have been picked clean here. But they have left a lot of tra different Transformers, that's for sure. Yeah, they're the movie fanbots. Chromie RC Elite One. More of the Earthrise. Bumblebee Adventures. Shockwave. Two different incarnations. There's Megatron. There's Starscream. And of course, there's Bumblebee. That's cool. Oh, man. Nothing new, though. Nothing. You got grapple down there. Hoist as well. A lot of these micromasters, like we saw in. Uh, the other Walmarts. Oh, this is. Here's something new. Oh, yeah. Here's Slitherfang. Very cool. And this is weird. Apparently, he's a, a Quintesson. He is not a Transformer. <laughs> I don't know how that works exactly. But yeah. Cool. Very interesting. I've heard he's a Quintesson, but there's no faction symbols anywhere. Weird. He does look cool, though. First time I've seen him. Actually, I think I've seen him before, but first time I've seen him out here for sure. I think that's it though. Doesn't seem to be anything else out here, so I'll have one more look around and then we'll move on to the next location. That was interesting. Didn't find anything, struck out there, but there's always more. Let's go on to the next location. Let's head on in. Well, it looks like they have a pretty big toy department here too. The the toy section here is gigantic, um, but there are a lot more preschool toys than anything else. Still, it's pretty cool. They also got a lot of really discounted items. Well, the Pixar stuff is all the way down to $5 again. So, a bunch of Star Wars stuff on sale here. $47.97 $44 for this set. Yeah, it's the Han Solo movie. Set with Han Solo there. He's got his girlfriend. I think that's a snow trooper. I don't remember seeing that guy in the middle in the film. I hmm. wonder who he is. Interesting. Yeah, we got some Rangers here. Obviously on the wrong peg. This is the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger, Beast Morphers Red Ranger. And over here, we have more of the Beast Warfers. 
Legacy Collection, Lost Galaxy Magna Defender. Again, the Beast Morpher is red. And that just repeats all the way down. Same thing up here. Yep, good to see them on the pegs though. And over here, we have DC and Star Wars area. Pretty much the same things we've seen at the other Walmarts. Here in the Transformers section, uh, we have one sound wave from the movie. A bunch of those Earthrise ironworks. There's Cliffjumper. Always good to see him. And another ironworks. All these MicroMasters. Yep. Same old stuff. Hey, check it out. So, remember last time I scanned this in, it was a dollar. Wonder how much it's gonna be now. Well, let's go find out. But as I've told you in the past, you really have to go and dig because sometimes you'll find something interesting. Check this out. All the way back here, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, if we move these guys over, what do we see here? Oh my gosh, it is a silver samurai. Where has this guy been? Holy cow. This looks like a really old package. I don't think it's that old, but still, where did he come from? Let's take a look at the, at the year on this thing. Yeah, it's been split. Like, what the heck? Again, not, not really sure. When was this made? <laughs> it doesn't really say, but this is... This is crazy to see. The Uncanny X-Men. Wow. Again, you just gotta look around. That is neat. I think there's a comic book on the inside or something, because it, it looks like it actually opens up here. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> Still, this guy's been here for a while, I think. $29.97, wow. Crazy. Good to see him, though. But, at the same time, I started looking around my shoulder, just, sorry, I looked over my shoulder, and I just happened to see this. <laughs> look at this. Again, you gotta look around. It's Kurt. Marvel Legends. Nightcrawler. He's got a piece of the Wendigo too. Yeah, he looks pretty good. I have to say. Bit of damage on the packaging though. You know, it's been worn a bit. But still, good to see. Not bad, not bad. And wait a second, I just spied something else. Check it out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these aren't that old now. But, still, good to see. It's an Iceman. From the Uncanny X-Men. Almost dropped it there. Yeah, I wish there was a date on here. That would be really neat to see. Still. Again, nice to see these guys on the pegs. Yeah, they're $30 each. Alright, put them back. Where other people can find them. Always dig, everybody. I thought he was a dollar. Let's see how much he is here. Nope, here he's $11.97. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Some Walmarts price them differently, I guess. Anyway, I'm not going to buy sewer for $11.97. So, here's the Toys R Us in Mississauga. Let's, let's have a look. Look at that logo, it's like brand new. Crazy. Let's go inside. That's cool. <laughs> I was just walking on the sidewalk and I just saw these things. That's awesome. Look, there's a transformer over there. What if they get the employees to do these things? Okay, this is a huge Toys R Us. Look at the size of this place. Holy cow. 
place is gigantic. There's like areas and areas, different wings. This is huge. Check it out. Oh my God, I haven't seen Care Bears in forever. Holy cow. They're only 20 bucks each. That is so cool. Look, it's everybody's favorite, it's Tenderheart. That is so awesome. There's Good Luck Bear. Man, the plush looks really good. Look at Sunshine Bear. That's awesome. There's Grumpy. I love their expressions. They're so awesome. But my favorite, there's Cheer Bear. I always liked Cheer Bear. She was awesome. And look, there's Cher Bear. I know who could use this one. Awesome. Great to see <laughs> that this displays here. Wow, look at all those Care Bears. Crazy. Made it to the action figure area. Man, this place is gigantic. I haven't seen a Toys R Us this big in years. Actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen a Toys R Us this big. Ever. I'm pretty sure in the States, everyone's like, uh, those are pretty small. But for us, man, these things are huge. Oh, here's the Power Ranger section. Yeah. This Dragon Dagger really is calling my name. I'm just not, not jazzed about that deco. Ah, oh, but those, those extra features are amazing. Oh, there's that Red Ranger helmet that keeps calling my name. I really, really have to think about it. Keeps calling me. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I am walking away. You know, the lightning collections are here, but very sparse. Only a few of them. I love that song. That song is incredible. I don't want to grow up either, kids. I want to stay as a kid. Now, here at Jurassic World. What the heck is this? Oh my god. What the heck? Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm, uh, I'm all for helmets and stuff, but to become a Velociraptor with a movable jaw? Oh, that's killing me, man. <laughs> I guess Halloween's coming up. Crazy. Man. Good to see these things on the shelves, though. Yeah, Halloween is definitely coming up. Freaky, man. Freaky. Whoa, what is that? Buzz Lightyear has his own space shuttle. Wow, 50 bucks for this thing. But it comes with Buzz, so that's not bad. That is nuts. Hey, Bo's got her own. What is that, a staff? Oh my gosh. It's one meter high. Crazy. Oh, good to see Story, Toy Story still giving their dues. Here's the transformer aisle. But looks like it's pretty much everything we've seen before. Sonic Squirrel. Deadlock from Cyberverse. Shockwave. Yeah, there's a star screen. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, pretty much everything we've seen before. Uh, Astro Train in abundance. Same thing with Shockwave. Those Quintessons look neat, but I'm on the hunt for the other Quintessons. These look. These always get me. These baby shark guns. I love those things. If it comes down in price, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, yeah, a lot of these MicroMasters, man. But there, at least there's more variety now. This one is uh, Top Shot and Flack. That one's Trip Up and Daddy-O. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's the one I got, Boom, Boom Shock and Growl. Yeah, a few more. Bits of variety. There's a Star Scream from Siege. Grapple. Yeah, same old stuff. 
The, oh, what, what's this? Power of the Primes. Huh. I think it's a bit older, but it does look neat. What is that? Okay, don't get me wrong, but that looks like a that looks like a pretender from from G1. Or was it? Yeah, it was definitely G1. Hey, there are a couple of them here. Neat. <laughs> of course, it doesn't have a price. Still, nice to see these guys. Something different. Yeah, but nothing new, unfortunately. Here's the DC section. Some pretty cool stuff here. Those Mego figures again. Again, I call them Mego figures, they're not actually Mego figures. This first Wonder Woman I've seen in a while. That's pretty cool. Diana's looking all right. Of course, there's Batman. Whoa, what the heck are these? Okay, these are different. This is the multiverse Batman. Oh, he looks crazy. Holy cow. That's nuts. But it doesn't end there. Check out Superman. Whoa, that is nuts. Okay. That is a armored up Superman. And here's the movie Diana, Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman 84. And she looks all right. Crazy. Uh, gaming area, right by the Funko Pops. And this is where they usually keep a lot of the, uh, the stuff they can't really categorize anywhere else, like anime. So they have some blind bags here for My Hero Academia. These weird little tchotchkes, like the horror collector pack from Loyal Works, I guess. Yeah, they got the Predator here. That's Danny Glover's character. And this is where I start getting interested. Check it out. They have a Masters Universe. <laughs> I saw these at one of the other Toys R Us. There was only one. It was Merman. That's pretty cool. Stinkor. And here's Ram Man. I love Rami. He's awesome. And somebody decided to. Uh, what? There's, I, I don't know. There's something in there, but looks like somebody stuffed something else in there. Too bad. Always good to see Ram Man in the wild. Uh, they're loyal subjects. There's on, they're on clearance right now. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, check it out. They've, this is the first place I've seen that they still have some of the Starlink stuff, but it's not on massive clearance like it was at the other places. Still, the prices aren't bad. They're only 278 I have pretty much all the figures I need. These are really the only ones that I'm interested in. The weapons packs. I'm gonna have to ask how much they are. All right. Oh, looks like I'm going to the front. This is weird. All of their Marvel Legends figures are not in the Marvel Isle. <laughs> They're actually in the islands here, and it's hard to find them. Here's Nighthawk, the Invisible Woman. And they both come with pieces of Thanos. So yeah, you'd think uh, they'd be putting them in areas where you can find them better. And then down here is the Age of Apocalypse guys who I saw at the Walmart. Yeah. More Captain America from the movie. Actually, I don't, yeah, that is the movie. And then down here, there's an Apocalypse. And a Venom. Yeah, odd that you find them here in the, uh, the aisleway. Even more, here's uh, Red Guardian. And these are from the movie, I think. Spy Master. Yeah, they come with build figures too. Huh. Odd. I 
is uh, pretty disappointing. The location is gigantic, seriously. But at the same time, they don't have very much selection in terms of transformers. I had a lot better luck at uh, the Pickering location. They had a lot of the Titans and stuff. Anyway, one more to go. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. All right, we'll see you soon. Well, this is the last Toys R Us, and pretty much I'm heading home after this. <laughs> it's kind of been a bit of a disappointing day, but anyway, it, uh, it's a different city. I got lost a couple of times. Yeah, this is what happens with your toy hunt, guys. Well, wish me luck. Hopefully I'll find something cool here. Well, they do take care of their Toys R Us's here. That sign is brand new. Crazy. That's a big Toys R Us, all right. Holy cow. So, the Transformers aisle, it's pretty full here, it's not bad. Oh, here's a new couple of MicroMasters. This is Stormcloud and Visper. Oh, pretty cool. Got a couple of him. There's Top Shot and Flak again. Oh, here's a new one. These guys are called Road, Handler, and Swindler. Yeah, I wonder if that's based off the original Swindler. Yeah, pretty much that's it for those additional MicroMasters. I'm telling you, man, I love these Sharkticons. They're freaking adorable. Yeah, nothing else to really uh, speak about here, though. Okay, here's uh, Dropkick from the movie. That's pretty cool to see. Yeah, nobody else. Uh, there's those Robots in Disguise pack. Here's another Masterpiece Megatron. Oh, and check it out, here is the two-pack for the Seekers. So, if anybody's looking, they're here in Mississauga. Uh, that's good, they got about three of them here. Not bad. Yeah, Shockwave, Sideswipe. Here's a Siege. Starscream. Oh, there's another sound wave. Always a popular figure. There's another one back there. Oh, who's this? Ape face. Oh, ape face. Cool. He's a triple changer. Oh, neat. Ape face. Very cool. Oh, there's the Siege Prime. If anybody's looking for him, he's here. That's very cool. No trailer though. Oh, another one. So they got two Primes here. It's good to know. And then there's Grapple. Huh. This is a different one though. Well, I guess Alaska could chuckle if he needs this. Very cool. Yeah, and then there are a bunch of others. And that's Ironworks. We've seen a bunch of him. There's Hoist, Cliff Jumper. Here's a Wheeljack, Earthrise. That's very cool, actually. Yeah. More of the same. Yeah. Well, we're not, uh... Nothing terribly new, but still. Very good to see. And we've got Astrotrain here. As always. And of course, there's Shockwave. Yeah, nothing surprising. But there's more to see. All right, cool. That was my trip to Mississauga. <laughs> it was fun. There was a lot of things to be seen, a lot of things to be uh, discovered. But yeah, I pretty much struck out for a lot of things that I wanted to get. But that's what the way it goes with toy hunting. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you have any comments or suggestions, 
on where I should go next, let me know. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Geek proud. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to support the channel, please see the link in the description below. I've got more videos on the way, and we'll see you at the next one. Geek proud.